Hello, welcome back. So essentially in the last video we are discussing about checkpoints. So what is a checkpoint? Checkpoint is basically a mechanism by which I can check what is there in the content. Like say for example if we send a request to get this page localhost slash module then we can instruct the vugen script to check if there is something called available courses in the HTML page that has been generated. All right, and if you look, this is the script that we we wrote in the last in the last video, and what we have done there after we log in as teacher one and welcome one, we want to register a search string, and the search string here was teacher one. That means the response of this request we are going to search for teacher one. If this teacher one is not available, then the script will will abort, and this is called text checkpoint. That means we are looking for a particular text and here in this video we are going to look at something different called image checkpoint. Let's say for example I, uh, I, I go to this localhost slash Moodle. In this page I would to like to know if there is an image and that image is looking like this. So let's say I copy that URL and and the image is like this okay so what i want to do i want to check in the views and script whenever i go to this page is there a image like this available let's try to do a image checkpoint here in this script you know by going to this local host class model i am expecting an image and that image is looking like this if i'm going to inspect the element i'm going to find out that the image source is this one okay and what I'm going to do in this in this script I'm going to add an image checkpoint right click here and you say insert a new step and you know the step and then then here you find out something called web underscore image and if you see there is something called web image check you click on that uh, so so that will give you a, a dialog box like this and in this in this dialog box you have to fill two parameters and if you look at the HTML HTML uh, of, of this thing uh, any image that the, the image hyperlink the, the HTML syntax for image is like this you know uh, in a image tag and then it will it will it will give a source name and also sometimes it will give you the alt tag okay so at this time we just have only source src attribute but there is no alt attribute is here so what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm looking for this source right so, so basically what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this link put the string here and this is the total string and then I say okay and the moment I did okay this is what, what it got so it insert an API and that in that API name is web underscore image check and this is a parameter and this is the important parameter that I gave okay look for this source and what is the source that source image is this okay so what is going to happen that whenever we run the script after this web URL it is going to look for a image and that image SRC attribute for that image is this okay so now if and also one more thing that I need to I need to make sure that go to I want to go to runtime setting and in the runtime setting there is something called preference in this preference I have to check enable image and text check if I do not enable then whatever I whatever the check that I put won't be affected so that means if you do not put your runtime setting properly then there is of no use of putting all these checkpoints all right so now if you run this is going to work fine because we are expecting a a, a, a key as uh, a image called without key all right so looks like this script is passed so now basically what you can do is to see like if this is actually really working or not so you can just modify something one so in this case what is going to happen after we got the response for this request web underscore url we are going to search for an image and that image url is without key one as you see we are not going to get anything something with without key one as the image name as the image source attribute here so therefore if I run the script this script is going to fail 
okay so looks like the, so the script failed and if I go to the test result so it will say me that so it will say that this image checkpoint failed okay and then what is failed so there are zero occurrences found for this source this because the source is without key not without key one okay so so as you see this is another way that you can do content check so there are two types of checkpoint one is text checkpoint another is image checkpoint and, and, and by this time we covered both these type of checkpoints and we will use these checkpoints just to ensure that whatever we are getting are valid just to ensure that the scripts are more robust and less prone to failure thank you